Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. We continue our NFL team-by-team -team thumbnail sketches for the upcoming 2020 season. Uh, we are in the NFC East, and we're talking about the Washington Redskins on this particular report. Hey, don't forget to check out my other videos. Uh, we've done the rest of the NFC outside of the NFC East thus far. Then we'll move to the AFC college football, what have you. But don't forget to check out my daily free pick videos also, talking a lot of Belarus, Nicaraguan, uh, soccer, some Taiwan baseball. We'll have free picks each and every day of the week with those other videos. Uh, but as we said, we've got the NFC East, we've got the Washington Redskins, and currently uh, the Washington Redskins are plus 1,100 to win the NFC East, according to William Hill. Over under wins, total of five and a half juice on the under, about a buck 25 on the under at most spots. Listen, they're in rebuild mode. Everybody knows that. They franchise tagged an offensive lineman. Uh, I like bringing back Kendall Fuller at corner. I think that's very good for this defense uh, to be able to have him back in the mix. And I do like their new head coach, Ron Rivera. I'm a Ron Rivera fan, and I think it, while it will take him time, he will get this organization back on track as well as just about anybody could. Um, they did win just three games a season ago, as you know. Before last season's disaster, they had won seven, seven, eight, and nine games in their previous four seasons. Uh, a divisional title in the mix, by the way. Uh, they can beat Carolina at home. They can beat Cincinnati at home this year. Maybe even pull out an upset of the Rams. I doubt it, but maybe. Uh, but that, you know, when I look at their schedule and I look at their road games outside of the division, Boy, you look at the teams they're playing, I'm thinking one and four straight up at best on the non-divisional road. Maybe two and four in the division at best. Five wins and 11 losses for me out of this year's Washington Redskins. Uh, when you look at what they're going to do, listen, Tua uh, Tagovailoa has better pre-draft numbers uh, that we hang on players, you know, as far as what's their chance on being a starter in the NFL, what's their chance of getting to a Pro Bowl, being an All-Pro in the NFL. And Tua has better numbers right now than did Dwayne Haskins a season ago before the draft as far as our numbers are concerned. But it looks like they're going to go with Dwayne Haskins at quarterback. So that means if that's the case and you're Ron Rivera and they're the, you're in the Redskins war room on draft day, you're either going to go with what most people think is the obvious choice, which is defensive end Chase Young out of Ohio State, arguably the best player overall in the draft, or you trade down. And I don't know. I mean, Ron Rivera says he's more interested in drafting with that number two pick. So you would think if they're going to make that move and stay with Dwayne Haskins after a poor rookie year, uh, then Chase Young would be their man. You look at the defense that they're building, it isn't that bad. They've got decent defense, decent talent on defense. They've got Montez Sweat. They've got Jonathan Allen. They've got Landon Collins. We just mentioned they re-signed Kendall Fuller uh, during the free agent portion. So listen, it's a situation where they're not devoid of talent by any means on the defensive side of the football. So maybe you bring in Chase Young at defensive end and it just bolsters what they're already building. So it is a rebuilding year. I just mentioned uh, what I think they're going to do in the non-divisional road games. I think one in four straight up at best when you look at the teams they're going to be playing. And again, overall, I think it's a team that likely lands on five wins. So for me, it's under with the Washington Redskins. And again, we're doing these in mid-April. Uh, so we will update our NFL previews as we get closer to an actual start time uh, later on this summer into the early fall. But right now, we think the Washington Redskins finish under five and a half wins. You've got to live about a buck 25 in some books, a little bit less than that in others. But uh, don't think Washington's going to win more than five on the season when you look at everything uh, mixed in, into the mix. But listen, here is one, I, I guess you could say positive, besides the fact that they do have decent talent on defense. Strength of schedule, 126 and a half. That's one of the 10 or 11 softer schedules that I make for this upcoming 2020 campaign. Uh, that's the good news for the Skins. But again, I, I think it's a five-win team. So we'll project Washington under five and a half wins on this report. And again, don't forget to check out my daily videos with free picks each and every day. Uh, soccer, and Taiwan baseball, other sports as they get into the mix. Don't forget, if you're not yet a member at DocSports.com, you can still get that free $60 account, which of course you can use on any of our daily packages from handicappers at DocSports sports.com which includes belarus soccer nicaraguan soccer it includes taiwan baseball and of course when the north american sports get back underway all right that's going to do it for me for this report i'm scott spritzer docsports.com if you like the videos click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe check out all of our nfl videos we've done thus far